Good morning everyone. Welcome back to grade 3 mathematics class. Did you all finish all the activities mentioned in the previous class? Today, let's talk about estimation. So, we have learned about rounding up number in our previous chapter, right? So, estimation or to find the estimated value of a calculation simply means you are guessing the value of the calculation. So, how do we guess it? How do we guess the or how do we find the estimated value? To find the estimated value, we have to first round off the given numbers to the nearest 10, 100, 1000 and so on and then to the required calculation. So how do you find the estimated sum which is the uh, result of an addition operation? How do you find the uh, estimated value for that case? Let's see that today. To find the estimated sum, you first round off the given numbers or the add-ins to the nearest 10, 100, 1000 and so on and then do the addition. Now, let's see that with an example. Look at this question. Estimate the sum of 274 and 312 by rounding off the numbers to the nearest 10. So, let's round off each of these add and first. Let's see how we can do the, how we can find the estimated sum. So, rounding off each of these add ends. 274 rounded off to the nearest 10. Here the rounded digit is the 10th digit. So we have to check the digit to the right of it and let's see if it is less than 5 or if it is 5 or more than 5. So the digit to the right of the rounded digit here is 4. So let's keep the rounded digit as it is and change the 1's digit to 0. So that will give you 270. Now 312 or 312 rounded off to the nearest 10. Here, here also the rounding digit, sorry the digit to the right of the rounded digit is less than 5. So let's change that to 0 and keep the rounded digit as it is. So that will give you the number 310. Now let's add the rounded off add-ins to get the estimated sum. Let's start with the ones. So 0 ones plus 0 ones is 0 itself. 7 tens plus 1 ten it is 8 tens. Now 200 plus 300 give you 500. So what is the estimated sum? It is 580. Now let's see what is the actual sum of this addition. So to find the actual sum you are writing the numbers which are not rounded off the given addends itself here. So it's 4 plus 2 6, 7 plus 1 8 and 2 plus 3 5. Look at these numbers. The estimated sum is 580 and the actual sum is 586. In this case the actual sum is greater than the estimated sum or the estimated sum is less than the actual sum. Now let's see one more case of the same example. Here, estimate the sum of 274 and 312 by rounding off the numbers to the nearest 100. In the previous case, we, we were rounding it off to the nearest 10. Here, we are doing it to the nearest 100. So let's round off each of these add-ins first. 274 rounded off to the nearest 100. For that, the rounded digit is the 100th digit which is 2. The digit to the right of it, it is, is 7, which is more than 5. So let's add 1 to the rounding digit and change the other digits to the right of it to zeros. So that will give you 300. Now, what about the second added? 312. Here, 3 is the rounded digit. Digit to the right of it is 1. So there is no change to the rounded digit. Let's keep that as it is and change the ones or the tens and ones to zeros. So that will give you 300. Now let's find the estimated sum. That is 300 plus 300 that is 600. Now what about the actual sum? Let's check the actual sum. Here it is 4 plus 2 6. Here it is 8 and here it is 5. So Look at these numbers. Here the estimated sum is 600 and the actual sum is 
586. In this case, the estimated sum is greater than the actual sum. Okay. Now, we'll do one activity. You have to go through the topic estimating the sum in page number 28. And then you have to do the questions 1a, b and c of exercise 2.5. We can pause the video, we can note down these questions in your notebook and then do the calculations and then come back. Hope you finished right, doing the calculations. Now let's see the answers. So the question is estimating the sum, estimate the sum by rounding up the numbers to the nearest 10. Also find the actual sum. So first let's find out the actual sum from here. So the first addition problem is 506 plus 492. So 6 plus 2 it is 8, 0 plus 9 it is 9, 5 plus 4 it is 9 and for B it is 7, 1, 8 and for C it is 9 plus 2 it is 11, 1. So a carry over to the tenths place that will give you 10, a carry over here, 4 plus 1, 5 plus 1, 6. So these are the answers, these are the actual sums. Now let's see the rounded off or the estimated sum. Here, how do you find the estimated sum? We round off each of the add-ins and then find the estimated sum. So the first add-in here is 506. That rounded off to the nearest 10, what is it? It is 510. So what about the next number 492? 492 rounded off to the nearest 10 gives you 490. So let's find the estimated value or the estimated sum for A. 510 plus 490 gives you 0 here, 10 that is thousand. What about the question B? 613 rounded off to the nearest 10 gives you 610. Then 204 rounded off gives you 200. So what about the estimated sum here? 610 plus 200 is 810. Now Question C, 402 rounded off gives you 400 and 199 rounded off to the nearest 10 gives you 200. Let's see that estimated sum for that one. Here it is 600. I hope your answers are correct. Again, come back to exercise 2.5. The question number 2, estimate the sum by rounding off the numbers to the nearest 100. Also find the actual sum. You have to do the questions A, B and C. You can note down the questions in your notebook. Finish the exercise and come back. Hope you finished doing the calculations. Now let's discuss the answers. So the first question, 525 and 268. Let's find the actual sum first. 5 plus 8, it is 13. I carry over 1 to the tens place, 6 plus 2, 8, plus 1, 9, 5 plus 2, 7. Here it is 5 plus 9, 14, carry over, 7 plus 5, 12, plus 1, 13, again I carry over, 4 plus 1, 5 plus 1, 6. Here it's 12, 2 and 4. These are the actual sums. Now. We have to find out the estimated sum. For that, let's round off each of these add-ins in each case. So, 525 rounded off to the nearest 100. In the previous question, it was 10. Here it is 100. So, here the rounded digit is the 100's digit and the digit to the right of it is less than 5. So, let's round that to 500. Now, 268 rounded off gives you 300. Now, let's find the estimated sum for that one. It is 800. Now, 400 
55. The question B rounded off gives you 500. 179 rounded off to the nearest 100 gives you 200. So what is the estimated sum in this case? It is 700. Now, the third one, C. 105 rounded off to the nearest 100 gives you 100 and 317 gives you 300. Now, let's find the estimated sum. 100 plus 300 is 400. I hope your answers are correct. Now, let's see a word problem. Look in the page number 29, question 3. Anuj obtained 389 marks in the quarterly examination and 423 marks in the half yearly examination. Estimate his total marks by rounding off the marks obtained to the nearest 100. So, can you get the word problem? Let's look for the keyword first. We are asked to estimate the total marks which means we have to add the given data. It's an addition word problem and you have to find the estimate or the estimated sum of the word problem. So, what all data are given here? It's about the marks Anuj obtained in quarterly and half yearly examinations. So, let's put down or let's note down the given data. Marks obtained, Anuj obtained in quarterly examination is 389 and half yearly examination it is 423. So, the total marks will be the marks obtained in the quarterly examination plus the marks obtained in half yearly examination. So let's see the steps. Marks obtained in quarterly examination equal to, marks obtained in half yearly examination equal to, then total marks equal to, marks obtained in the quarterly examination plus, marks obtained in the half yearly examination. So the add-ins here are 389 and 423. Now where do you do the calculation? In the working column. So in your working column, you can do the addition 389 plus 423. That gives you 9 plus 3, 12, carry over, 8 plus 2, 10, plus 1, 11, carry over, 4 plus 3, 7 plus 1, 8. So it is 812. So the total marks is 812 marks. You have to estimate the total. So for that, we have to estimate the total marks. To find the estimated total marks or the estimated sum, let's first round off each of these marks. So 389, you are asked to round off to the nearest 100, right? So 389 rounded off to the nearest 100 will give you 400 and 423 rounded off to the nearest 100 gives you 400. So how do you find the estimated sum? It is 400 plus 400 that gives you 800. So the estimated total marks equal to 800 marks. Now we have been discussing on how to find the estimated sum of calculations I hope the concept is clear to you. So as an activity for the day, you have to do the question numbers D to I, that is D, E, F, G, H and I of question 1 and also D, E, F of question number 2 and question number 4 is a word problem from exercise 2.5 in your notebook. So that's all for today. We'll meet in the next class. Until then, bye.